What's up, Glue Dots? I'm Elaine, the Midnight Crafter, and I really wasn't actually going to do this tonight because I didn't even put myself together, but I know you're more here to see a really cool craft than you are to look at me. So I have a really good one, and I was so excited to get it out to you. I figured who cared what I look like. I would just bite the bullet and go for it. <laughs> so I have a beautiful, elegant jar, holder, vase, um, anything. I don't know. You can use it for whatever you'd like, but I absolutely love it. And I had, I've had something similar to it for a long time. And I thought there's got to be a way that I can duplicate this because I don't even know how I'd find it again if I wanted one. So I hope you like it. I'm really excited about it. And I am can't wait to show you but before I do you know the drill if you would hit the subscribe button down below and also the bell next to it and uh, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video that would be fabulous and we'd love to have you as a member of the glue dot family so let's see I think that's about it and without further ado let's get to the project <music> Come up with anything ready-made or anything that I could find to create a lid for this I came up with it just popped in my head a, an idea now if you guys have another idea for a lid please let me know in the comments because I didn't want something that was gonna look cheap and cheesy I wanted something that was gonna look elegant and nice to carry this out but this is what I came up with so flip your jar upside down and then you're going to add a little bit of oil. Now I have another tutorial that I've done on this. And for the other tutorial, I, I actually made a whole container, but you can look for that one. Rub the oil around the base of your container on the outside. So now what we're going to do is just go around and put hot glue kind of all over in a squiggly pattern and you can make whatever pattern you would like. Um, just make sure that all of the edges, all of the little squiggles actually touch onto another piece because you want to make sure that they have some stability and it's not just a bunch of pieces that are going to be flopping around there once you take this off. No real rhyme or reason to this. And then as I come around down onto the side, I'm going to just come down, for, for me what I'm going to do as a lid is the thickness of this, the glass. It's just going to be kind of somewhat of a guide for me. Make sure that, again, it's attached to the upper pieces. Otherwise, you're going to have a side that just falls off <laughs> when you take it off of your jar. If there's any areas you feel like don't come down far enough, you can just add a little more onto those areas. Or if you decide you want to make a line all the way around so you have more of an even lid, then that's an option as well. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm just double checking to make sure everything is attached to something else. And the reason that's important is because you want stability 
because I'm going to be actually putting a little um, embellishment on the top to be used as a handle and I want to make sure that it actually holds up and doesn't just fall right in there. So make sure that things are pretty sturdy. Okay, I'm going to give it literally just a minute or two to cool off completely and then we will be removing this and then spray painting it and using that as a lid for our container. Here we go. Okay, before we spray paint this, give it a good washing with soap and water and a kitchen sponge like you'd be washing a dish and then get it spray painted and I'll come back and show you what it looks like um, as a lid for this container. So while our lid over here is completely drying, it's pretty much dry, but while it's completely drying, I'm actually going to try another method of making this into mercury glass. So what I've done is taken my squirt bottle and I've put half water and half uh, vinegar and I've tried it before with just plain water. I've been happy with the results. Um, some people, most people that I've seen tutorials on say vinegar and water, so I'm actually going to give that a shot. And then I'll be using the Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray inside to give that um, mirror effect. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's give this a shot and see what happens. I'm going to lightly mist inside, making a few little droplet marks. And with light bursts and just on the inside. I hope you can see this because I can't see my camera. As I'm looking on the inside, I can kind of see the places where I feel like it needs a little more spray. My fingernails are getting sprayed too. I feel like that pretty much got it. So um, I'm gonna, I see a spot over here that looks a little plain. So I'm gonna give that a little spray. And all right, we're gonna let that dry and then see what comes out and finish this project up. Okay, so here's the results of my vinegar and water mixture mer miracle glass, <laughs> mercury glass. And I guess most people are blotting it to make those little bubble marks in there. I think it works either way, but I'll go ahead and blot it to get the last of the water out of there. So it looks to me, from what I can tell, that this method gives a little more of a consistent spotty effect on the glass. Um, maybe you can see better there. The other one is a little more uh, free and blotchy and smudgy. So anyway, here is our lid and how the lid looks on top of it. Now what we're going to be doing is adding one of our embellishments. I think this particular one, I ended up getting these from Michael's, but you can probably get them at all different places and different, even if you have an old brooch, and I know there is someone that a lot of YouTubers uh, link to. I forgot what the name is, but it's online. I want to say, no, I'm not even going to guess. Um, I'll put a link in the description box when I figure out which one it is. But anyway, I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to glue that onto the front here of my jar. By the way, if you do use uh, one of the embellishments 
uh, that was a charm piece or a bracelet piece or whatever, it does have these little loops on the back that are usually linked together to make it a paper. You want to cut those off so that you have more surface area to glue onto your jar. And I'll be using the Fix All Adhesive or E6000 on the back here with a tiny little bit of glue gun as well just for a little more immediate hold so that it stays on there while the E6000 or the Fix-All dries. And then I'm going to be using one of these gems. Uh, I believe you can get these at Dollar Tree. I actually purchased these from Michaels with a 50% off coupon. And I'm going to be using one of the larger gems as my handle on top. And in order to attach this gem on top, I'm going to be making, because this just is the gem itself and I want it to have a little, some type of a base, I'm going to make a base out of some bling wrap. So we'll be taking, um, I'm using two rows width, I think that's a good amount, and we'll just use a pen or a pencil, and we're going to wrap the bling wrap around. You might want to, just to make life easier, put a couple dots on the, the beginning part of your bling wrap, just a tiny little bit. Don't glue it to your pen. <laughs> and then wrap that around. And I would say wrap around enough that you get about, uh, say, a double the thickness, like twice around. And cut off the excess there. Let's see. Add a little glue to the end of that and attach it so that you actually have now made a little bit of a base. So nothing really too elaborate. We just have a little circle here that's double the thickness. I'm going to add a little bit of, you know, I think I'm going to do both E6000 or Fix All and my hot glue to hold that in place because I just really want to make sure that holds. I'll put some around the top. Ooh, lots is coming out. I don't want lots. And then on the other side of that, or if you manage to get it on two sides and then the other two sides in between, and I'll put some of my hot glue and attach my gemstone right on top. This way we have a nice little handle with the base on it too. I think it looks really nice that way. Then we'll be adding again some fix all to the bottom side. Whoops, make sure that's centered on your gemstone. Don't want a crooked knob. Taking our fix all again, putting some on. and adding hot glue as well in between. And attach it onto your lid. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> um, it's really funny because I really had absolutely no intention of filming today. And here I am. There you go. When you get an idea, you just got to take it and run with it. Okay, now that that should be dry enough to hold in place, we'll put it on the container. And that's what we have. Oh, I'm in love. Okay, uh, you know, okay. Anyway, show you this in a second. <laughs> 